Now less than three short months away, the upcoming Fox film Deadpool continues to push mm -hmm. out odd and unconventional marketing. New images have surfaced revealing a 3D stand-up poster of sorts for Deadpool, featuring the Merc with the Mouth wearing Santa's hat and sitting on his chair with the words, sit on this, written above him. <laughs> The new standee will be popping up in movie theaters across the country this week. Mark Byers sell the new Deadpool standees. It's a huge buy. I love the Deadpool just lampoons whatever is going on until the release of his movie. Christmas would be another one. I think it'll probably mock Star Wars at some point in a trailer or some other thing. This is who the Deadpool character is. I buy everything about this. I'm looking forward to taking a selfie with this in a movie theater soon. His Halloween, the, the, the oh, did you see so that good. Halloween yeah, thing that Ryan Reynolds yeah. put out? That was so mm -hmm. freaking, look, I'm honestly to the point, and this might be a bad thing about their marketing. I'm to the point now, I don't care if the movie comes out. Just give me another year of every <laughs> every couple of weeks, put out some new kind of cool marketing yeah. like this, and that'll entertain me just as much. I almost don't care about the movie. I gotta buy it. This is mm -hmm. this is fits in perfectly with what they've been doing with the marketing so far. The motifs sit on I can't wait to go into the theater and see that actually there. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. That's going to look great. So for me, it's a buy. It's a huge buy for me because it also tells people who don't know who Deadpool are exactly who this character is. Like yeah. When you look at that, it says, sit on this. You're like, oh, okay, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> and you get interested in him right away. I agree with you guys 100%. This is, this is, it's been brilliant marketing all the way around from the way they announced this thing, the, the rated R PG-13 thing that they did, the, the Halloween video, really smart, and it's, it's gonna keep coming until we get, I want, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do for New Year's, it's, it's all this stuff, it's, it's really smart. Yeah, it's Fox realizing that we've been so inundated with serious superhero movies when you have ads for stuff like Age of Ultron or Batman v Superman where you can lampoon that, stu that stuff a little bit and Deadpool's the perfect character to do that with, so it's genius marketing. Yeah, I, I it's, is the marketing though, let me ask you guys this. Yeah. Is the marketing getting our hopes a little too high? Because now I'm, I'm going to tell you, six months ago, just knowing that a Deadpool movie is coming, you could have given me almost anything, and I just would have been glad, man, it's a Deadpool movie. These marketing bits have been so good and so effective that I'm afraid my expectations are getting too high because I'm going into this thing now not just expecting a good little fun. I'm expecting to laugh my ass off from start to finish. Is that a danger here, or no, am I thinking too much about it? I, I think you're thinking too much about it because I, th I think that it's, it's, it's really setting you up as far, again, like you have to let everyone know who this is and what they're doing, and it also shows you we've got a lock on who this character is. Yeah, I think you should yeah. be confident going into it because we we haven't had this version of Deadpool yet ever, and we're getting the version that everyone loves about him, and it's and people who don't know him are now going to see that. And I think that this is the way to do it because they're not giving you. It's when we start seeing the trailers that we should say whether or not we're, uh, we're yeah, nervous. But I think this is really smart. Because the trailers now have to make us laugh, too. Yeah. And not just impressive with the action. We have to think this guy's funny as well as a kick-ass superhero. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.